it's movies like this why I love Academy Awards season. I'm serious. Still Alice stars Julianne Moore, Alec Baldwin, Kirsten Stewart, and of course Kate Bosworth. Now this movie comes to me a month late. Late. I was supposed to review this movie last month when I saw um, Annie for the first time because as you don't know, this and Annie were part of the Sony hack. So Still Alice was leaked a whole month ago but I never watched it. And uh, yeah. So it's still Alice. Julianne Moore plays a professor who starts to get starts to lose her her minds and her memories, and then she discovers that she has very early Alzheimer's disease at a very young age in her early fifties. So basically, we go through the grasp of her dealing with that and the ramifications it has not only on her life, her family, but her and her job as well. This was a damn good movie. I'm ashamed that I didn't watch it the week I saw Annie, because I was going to. I was going to watch it right after Annie, but I didn't do it. But, yeah, this, this was great. Julianne Moore this, is just a phenomenal actress, okay? I said that from the moment I saw her in The Lost World Jurassic Park nearly 20 years ago. Wow. Till now. And Kirsten Stewart, I gotta talk about her for a second. This is probably the best Kirsten Stewart has ever been. Ever been. Probably even since Panic Room. And that's been a long time coming. Holy crap. Alec Baldwin does a good job as her husband. As a, a Julianne Moore's husband, of course. And Kate Bosworth is the second daughter. She has two daughters and one son in this movie. And not only does she have to go through this, there's also a possibility that her kids might have it as well passed on through her, which is even more fucked up. But uh, yeah, I love the way this movie was made. It, it, it goes through the mindset of somebody actually having to go through Alzheimer's disease and the effect that it has on their life. Because losing your memories of your life is, is fucked up. It's very fucked up. You know what I mean? And, God, I don't know what actually would happen with me if I ever had to go through something like that. That'd be the most messed up thing ever. And there's a line in here where Julianne Moore actually says, I'd rather have a cancer. That's true. I would rather have cancer than Alzheimer's disease. Oh, God. But that that's, that's, not, a, that's not a good way of living. Cancer's not either, but at least you can remember your life, you know. Alzheimer's is something else. That's that's something I think we all can live without. But unfortunately, we're in the world we have to have both, unfortunately. But yes, I would pick cancer too. Fuck Alzheimer's disease. That that is no way of living. No. Mm -mm. And I love this. It's it's just a simple drama based off a novel. No true story involved. To get the damn Oscar, you know, just a simple adaptation. Probably the best adaptation so far, and they took it seriously. I like that. And everybody should watch this movie. Seriously, Still Alice is a great movie. And that's why I'm going to get Still Alice an A-. minus, Simply for the fact that it moves kind of slow. So I couldn't give it the, the, the full A+, plus that I was going to give it. But other than that, it's a damn good story. So the runtime won't really matter in the end times. But for somebody trying to watch a movie, it does kind of drag a little bit. Even though it's only an hour and 41 minutes long. So it's a very short movie. It just doesn't feel like it. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about Still Alice down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And I'll catch you guys in the next one.